Hello, and welcome to Enyopool's how-to guide section. In this video, we will discuss how to replace an Aquarite turbo cell. Things you'll need. An Aquarite replacement cell, or an Aquarite generic replacement cell, both available on our website, www.enyopools.com. Your first step in replacing the turbo cell is to turn off the power to the pump and the chlorine salt generator. Ideally, this should be done at the circuit breaker. The controller display should go blank. Next, relieve the water pressure at the relief valve, usually on the top of your pool filter. Unscrew the two unions on either side of the Aquarite turbo cell. Pull the Aquarite turbo cell out from the piping. Pull the plug from the Aquarite turbo cell out of the lower corner of the digital controller. Inspect the union O-rings for any wear and replace them as necessary. Apply a thin coat of lubricant on the O-rings. Place the replacement Aquarite turbo cell into the piping and screw the unions back onto the ends of the new cell. Hand tightening these unions is adequate. The cell can be positioned either way. In fact, the manufacturer recommends that you reverse the cell every time you clean it to extend the life of the cell. Plug the other end of the power cord into the lower corner of the controller. Turn power back onto the pool pump and salt chlorine generator. The controller should light up and the pool pump should operate. Any air in the piping should be coming out of the open relief valve. When water starts to spray out of the relief valve, shut the valve off. After a couple of minutes, the controller display will show a salt value of between 2700 and 3400 and the power and generating LEDs should be eliminated. And remember, you can always check us out online at www.enyopools.com. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to call our experts at 1-877-372-6038.